Okay, you're back with a passion fruit walrus, and we're trying to convince Frank to tell Chloe about uh, where she can find Sarah. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to go with it would mean a lot to me because Frank, well, Chloe said that Frank likes her, so let's try that rather than helping a friend, which might make him defensive. So let's try I that. I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. Well, let's hope so. What am I getting myself into? Mm, well, we don't quite know yet. Although, whatever it is... Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Ah, but you've got to have drama with David. You, you can't get through the day without drama with David. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Right, so we've got a message. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I'm backstage. Okay. Thanks for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. I'm a good kisser. Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yup, I'm still at my house, just showering and grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet you at the junkyard. I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Ah, now this could be a problem. If she gets accosted by David, he might stop her going to the junkyard. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. <laughs> Alright, so... Do I need to snoop around this thing? Do not turn the fucking radio on. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. <laughs> Are we graffitiing it? Okay. What do I want the record to show? Burning or burnout? Uh, burning, why not? I'd say I Tro went down in a place of glory. <laughs> Trophy and peer review. Right, okay. Uh, the globe. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. <laughs> okay, uh, use the computer. Figures. Sarah Gearhart. Uh, one result. Winchester High School gives Fisher Awards to Sarah Gearhart. Um, some web address. March 16, 1989. Each year, Winchester High School grants the Fisher Award, named after famous explorer Robert Fisher, to the student who best... That's about it. Try another search. No. Um, what? <laughs> Victoria Chase commented in a photo you're tagged in. I doubt it'll be anything you want to know about. Nice to see my work is appreciated. <laughs> That's that fucking bathroom. Victoria, just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. So that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. <laughs> Mad respect. No one asked you, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. <laughs> For their layer of nuance. Nathan almost pissed himself. Last night, the Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. The unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent from... Oh, right, from overdone classic works. Stella in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber commanded the stage just as Prospera herself commands the unknown. Worthy of special mention was Nathan Prescott as Caliban. This promising young actor's work 
weak, anxious, trembling interpretation of the enslaved monster added a further layer of nuance, severely underappreciated by the teenage crowd. <laughs> That'll be when he told them to fuck off, I suppose. How uh. are an idiot? <laughs> Yet the real star tonight in the role of Ariel was newcomer Chloe, ah, newcomer Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Miss Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Ferdinand, as she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty. Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance. Indeed, when Prospera refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script. I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Miss Price's authentic astonishment. <laughs> Five stars. Skips in a band? Who skip? Uh, Pisshead frontman. Fuck's sake, really? Arcadia Bay Online News. So a charmingly homemade music video for your song nothing wrong hit the internet last night in the last 12 hours it was a it has accumulated over 200,000 hits skip matthews yeah we were as surprised as everyone else how can you explain the sudden appearance of your first music video i just really needed a change i was working full time at a job i hated and i really worked and I finally worked up the nerve to quit, and it was so freeing, I just felt the need to channel that feeling into something new. Well, fair enough. Good for you. Shame you couldn't have come up with a better name than Pisshead. But anyway. <sighs> so much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Of course you would. He's your father. Well, one would hope. I wonder if that's the universe where... Dad's alive, and Rachel has three happy parents. <laughs> uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Right, nothing else is worth looking at. Her dad's jacket. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely <laughs> taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Water the plant. Plants need love too. Ah. Uh, better than nothing. Oh fuck's sake, Chloe! What the fuck is that? You can't feed a plant coke? Or is that beer? What the fuck are you giving it? Ah, oh, poor plant. Oh well. You're welcome, plant. I don't think it appreciates it. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. <laughs> if Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Maybe. Maybe she just thinks it's time you did your own fucking laundry for a change. <sighs> Box? Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Yeah. That was an asshole thing to do. Definitely not going to win her any po well, win him any points with her by doing that. Thoroughly clumsy and ham-fisted, but that seems to be his MO. Right, let's go and see if we get some drama. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. Uh, right, we want a shower first, though, don't we? Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay... My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. <laughs> calmly? <laughs> Who wants to bet it's in the bin? Maybe mom threw my towel in here. Nope. No awesome pirate towel. I hope the asshole hasn't thrown it out, because that would be, like, seriously stupid of him. I don't even know what's in there. David's shit, I suppose. Moustache things. Score. Hmm. 
Okay. I can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Yeah. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Huh, okay. Bombshell blue. Okay. So does she dye her hair? No? Ready for okay. the best shower of my life. Why is it the Hot best water. shower? Don't let me down. Anything Rose. interesting? <laughs> what is it? Man manly grip problem. Okay. Super grip hairstyle. Oh, pomade, whatever that is. Needless to say, that's not something I use. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Well, get used to it. The fucker has moved in. Uh, right, shower then. But we had a message from Bitchy Victoria. <laughs> Says it all, really. Uh, fucking hell. Chloe Price, I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning, bitch. So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yup. I've had it with this school. Nobody gives a shit about me last night. Gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you're an awful person, then everyone suddenly realizes that's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. Well, that was productive. Right, shower then. Get ready for a PG th a shower scene. Well, possibly a U shower scene. Yeah, that's pretty you. Don't drop the soap. So she does do something with her hair. <laughs> it's a bloody quick way of dyeing your hair. Now what happened to that bag of clothes that Rachel gave you? Are they still in the junkyard? Do we get more than one choice now? Like two choices. William's clothes. Who's William? Is that her father? What do I feel like wearing on this easy ass day? Okay. So, what we got? We've got a skull. Or a dragon. Um, I think I'd prefer the dragon, really, but the skull looks like it's more her thing, really. Again, it's just like one or the other. A bit limited, but okay. Skulls it is then, pirate girl. Nope, that looks fine. Alright. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's uh, toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Who wants to bet where David is? Or guess where David is. Right, okay. Off to the garage then. Huh. Come to think of it, can I go back through there. 
I'm just wondering if I can open, like, go back out through the window to avoid going through the house, because that would avoid any potential meetings with David. No, I can't go through the window. What about that window? Nope. Oh well, fuck that for an idea then. I guess we're going through the house. David's creepy waiting music. Mm, should we snoop in her bedroom? <laughs> David's still got an army bag. Uh, no way. Mom actually sold her ring for three hundred dollars. Huh. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait, is today Mother's Day? This card. This card redeemable for a free breakfast in bed. Love you, William. May eighth, twenty o five. It's been scientifically proven that you're officially the best mum in the world. Happy Mother's Day, love, Chloe. <laughs> nice. Uh, I suppose I can't graffiti on the card like a new message or something. Apparently not. <laughs> That's obviously Shit. David's shirts. <laughs> David really is moving in. No correction, David has moved in. <laughs> the moustache is in the building. Uh, right. Condoms and surveillance tapes. Or whatever the fuck they are. Maybe it's porn. Anyway, whatever. Uh, no, we've had a look at his shirts. Uh, is that it? A book. I wonder who gave this to Mom. A guide to reining in unruly in your unruly teeth. Oh, te unruly teen. All oh, right. I wonder who gave this to Mom. Where the. F Fuck did I get teeth from? Yeah. David's a ham fisted idiot. I mean putting your foot down is well and good in the right place, but do it wrong and you just fuck things up worse. So if I put this photo out, mom just hides it in a different drawer. What the hell? What do you expect? She's got a new man in her life. Why don't you um put it in your room or something? Right then. Yep. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Mm, probably zero. Would be my guess. Who wants to bet David comments on her hair like a total cock? Flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Yeah, it's kind of nice. If he wouldn't be such a dick with Chloe, he might actually get somewhere. Hey. Who's there? Who do you think? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. And that shirt. 
Oh, I haven't seen it in ages. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll leave it there. So thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.